it's Megan. I am coming at you with a Finish 6 by Summer update and this is late. I wanted to film it on the 20th of May which would be a month in to my project and a month until the project ends but things happened and I wasn't able to film it then. So it's a few days after but better late than never. So I have my update on the products that I chose for this project and yeah so I'll start with the best news first which is that I finished one product and that was my um, Terry Mugler Angel Perfume and this was the 8 fluid ounce. I bought this about a year ago right after I graduated from college. It was a scent that I really really had strong scent memories with, really positive scent memories and it was a very expensive perfume but after graduation with all my graduation money I felt like the richest person on the face of the planet so I bought so much stuff. This was one of them and I bought the really ridiculously expensive little bottle of this. This was like $80 for less than a fluid ounce and um, I do like this scent. It's like a very, I don't know, it's a very different scent. I think that people who know this scent will always recognize it on someone else. I really like the bottle of it. Like you kind of laid it like this and it's just really cute. And um, this has sort of started to tarnish. Natasha said that maybe it's actual silver, like silver plate. So um, I would need to like polish it and stuff, but this is a reusable thing. So I'm going to keep it. Um, but anyhow, I finished this up. I thought that it was a nice scent, but it's not one that I'm like going to repurchase anytime soon. I'm gonna keep the bottle because if I want it again I can just refill it for less expensive than buying a whole new one but I can't see myself buying it in the near future. Okay so I'll start with the stuff that has the most progress. So this is the Kate Somerville Delo oil and this is really nice because it has a little window so I can see where I am. So I started about up here and now I am down here. So let me mark it. I really came unprepared to this today. I just realized that I should film this. But so we have a month left and that was my progress for a month. So I'm pretty sure I'll be able to use that up. I use this at nighttime as a nighttime oil. So I do my normal cleansing routine and then like a toner or like exfoliant and then I do a serum and then I do this oil and then I'll do moisturizer. So um, I didn't always used to do all those steps but now that I have so many different skin care products I do use a serum and then an oil in addition and yeah so I like this. I love the scent of this. It's just so calming but this is super expensive for what it is. I really prefer the Kiehl's Midnight Recovery Concentrate but again I bought this right after my graduation when I was trying to get into skincare and I had the money to splurge on a little bit more expensive and so I got this. Definitely want to use it up and I do like it but it's not something I will repurchase but I know that I'll be able to finish that. Also something I am trying really hard to quickly use up is the RMS Living Luminizer and this is an all natural product which is why I'm trying to use it up but as you can see I don't have too much left. It's like crazy and my favorite way to use it is applying it with a beauty blender or like this Real Technique sponge that's like a egg shape. So I swirl it in and then just tap it on the tops of my cheeks or like my cupid's bow or whatever and it just applies it really well and I think it might use it a little faster than using your fingers. But I'm trying to use this up because it has expired already. It's only good for 12 months and it's been about a year and a half since I've had this. So I'm trying to use it up. I really like it but since it is so natural and you do really have to pay attention to the expiration date, I, I'm really unsure of if I would repurchase it or not because it I can tell that it has started to change a little bit and it's just not the same as when it was fresh. But um, I do really love this and it's an awesome thing to look into if you're trying to get more natural um, beauty products. Okay, my MAC Permaplum pencil. So... I can't really see myself using the rest of this up in the next month. I've probably used about like this much. I don't even know. I always forget to make a little paper with a line like everyone else does. I always forget. Um, but that is where I am. I'm not sure if you can tell like the word. 
the words it's about to crayon and it's like p-o-u and that's where it is um I love this freaking eyeliner it's like a deep purple with a little bit of a sheen it's gorgeous and I wear this a lot I don't force myself to use it every single day but I use it most days and I really enjoy it but it's kind of an older eyeliner and I just want to use it up this year so I thought that putting it in this project would help motivate me and even though I don't think I'll be able to finish it in the next month I'll continue to use it until it's gone because I don't want it to go bad so that is that this is a big failure of a product this is the only one that I feel disappointed in myself about it's the Laura Mercier foundation primer protect I have used this one time in the past month and I put in this project because it expires in August and I it has SPF SPF 30 so I wanted I wanted to use it up um literally I've used it once I have gotten out of the habit of using a primer so it just like I just totally forget about using it so I'm gonna try to use this for the rest of the next month before this project ends but there is no way I'll be able to actually finish this so I'm just gonna do my best and use what I can but I do want to finish it because it will expire the sunscreen will expire and then my last product is my like experiment product this is the mini Dior you guys taught me how to say it. It's number 646 and then it says 30 and then it says it means mountain in French montagne. Montagne. That's definitely how you say it. Okay. So it's this itty bitty palette that my friend Ellie sent me when it was like a little kit with the Dior Over Curl Mascara and this palette is so adorable. I love how small it is. Mostly I've been using like these three on this side, like this peachy, this mid-tone brown, and then this other mid-tone brown. So I just kind of swirl all of them together and use them as like a transition. It's, I am trying to see if I can hit pan, but really I don't think I will be able to. But I hope that you can kind of see that like especially in this one up here, there's like a lot more wear than these which I basically never use so this is an experiment I'm gonna be happy either way if I hit pan or not because I just think it's kind of fun and sometimes I forget about this little palette because it's so small and it doesn't really look like it should be an eyeshadow palette because it's so tiny but I like it I think it's nice and I do need to play with these two over here this like white and this brown but I never really use them I just use like the transitions all mixed together because they're kind of small to fit a brush into so I just kind of swirl them all and yeah so I can definitely see that they're a lot more worn than the other ones which makes me feel happy and I do like them but this was kind of just an experiment product so those are my six products for my update and Right now I feel like I might want to do another project. I haven't felt like it, but for some reason I might want to do another project. I'm not sure. Or maybe I'll just throw them into my Project Use It Up for June. I, I don't know. I just don't know. So I'll see if I do another project soon, but I haven't done like a project pan or anything in a while, so it might be fun to kind of mix things up and do one but we'll see. So I hope you guys enjoyed this update and if you have your progress to share for your finish six by summer, finish seven, finish samples by the solstice, finish four by fourth of July, there are so many going on. So if you have any progress to share, please let me know in, your, in the comments down below and I would love to hear your updates. So thank you guys so much for watching. I really appreciate it and I will see you soon. Bye!